these pictures of space that you're seeing are from the AstroSat astronomy mission that was launched by ISRO way back in 2015. This year we are celebrating its fifth anniversary. So in this video let's take a look at why we need a telescope in space and also take a look at few of the pictures from this space telescope. By the way this is a 1x30 model of the AstroSat satellite. Okay I admit it I am pretty bad at making paper models but if you want to make something similar to this or even better do watch till the end where I show you how to make this using the template that's already available in the ISRO's website. So let's get started. Telescopes like these are used to look at objects in the visible spectrum. Whatever that we see is in the visible spectrum, but this visible spectrum of light is just a very narrow band of the whole electromagnetic spectrum. So being able to see in the other wavelengths of light helps us to get a third eye over whatever we are observing and this is where the AstroSat comes in. It's a multi-wavelength space telescope which can look at objects in space in multiple wavelengths at the same time. So coming back to the question why do we have a space telescope that is a telescope orbiting in space rather than having it here on earth? It should be logical right? It's easy to whatever repair or maintain the telescope if it's in the ground rather than it being in space. But the thing is that the wavelengths of light that we are trying to observe, it gets filtered out by the Earth's atmosphere. That might be a good thing for people here on Earth, but for astronomy that isn't so great. So that's why we have a telescope orbiting around the planet outside of the atmosphere that helps us see these wavelengths of light. The AstroSat astronomy satellite has a lot of payloads that is specifically designed to do so and study the objects in, in a variety of wavelengths ranging from the near infrared to X-rays. It has a very broad range of wavelengths that it can study and also it can do all of this simultaneously. That is not something that most of the space telescopes can do without flexing their muscles. Although there aren't many pictures of space from AstroSat as you would have expected, there are more data that we have collected using AstroSat that has fueled many research papers. So having a telescope in space helps us to see a lot more and helps us to see in wavelengths that we can't actually see. And also it helps us to get a broader understanding about space in general and helps us answer a few of the major questions that's been bothering us for a very long time. So as promised, let's take a look at few of the images that AstroSat has to offer. So here it is. So this is how you would make the model. The template for all of the parts is available in the ISRO's website. So you go there, take printout of these parts and stick it on a thick paper. They suggest that you do on a 300 GSM paper but a thick paper would do. After that you cut out all these parts. Follow the instructions that they have given by folding each part and sticking it.
so they 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 had instructed to use glue but i preferred to use cello tape because it was more easy And after having all parts assembled, you should have something like this. I know, not like this, you might have a better version of this, but it's cool to have, but it's cool to have satellites. Yeah. So that's all folks, I hope you enjoyed this video. So until next time, keep striving. This is me, a striving amateur, goodbye.